Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make six feet tall frames that you can use to make mosaic balloons for any occasion. Here we go. Alright guys, in order to make the words I do, you are going to need 20 of these PVC pipes. They are half an inch by 10 feet and you're also going to need connectors. I'm going to start with the letter I and each letter is going to need different connectors so make sure to watch all the way till the end. Want to see something fun and messy? <laughs> Here's my pad where I draw my designs and come up with the numbers and measurements for whatever I'm going to do. Hot mess, but I get it. I highly recommend that you guys buy your own PVC cutter if you're going to be building and making things like this. Uh, it's very easy to use and it makes life so much easier than bothering somebody at Home Depot to uh, cut the PVCs for you. Plus, I don't think they do it anymore. I think they tell you to go and use a saw or something like that. So yeah, only about 12 bucks and you will love this. It's really great. I love this, but I love tools. So <laughs> stuff like this excite me. Um, all right, so you're gonna need a PVC cutter, a measuring tape and a pencil. All right, and then later on, you're gonna need a mullet. A mullet, mullet or mullet? I'm not sure. I know one is the hair and one is this hammer, rubber hammer. So you're gonna need one of these. All right, so here are what you're going to need. You are going to need to cut 16 pieces that are one foot, four pieces that are three feet, four pieces that are four feet, and four pieces that are eight inches. So let's get started. To open your cutters, all you have to do is this, pull them apart, and to close it, all you have to do is press, all right? So you are going to place the cutters where your line is, and then you just press. It makes you feel really strong, but you're not. It cuts right through, look at that, so easy. So easy. And here are all of my 16 one footers. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of the PVCs that I have on my list and I'll be right back to show you how to put it together. Once you cut all of your PVC pipes for the letter I, you are going to separate them in half, as you see here. Right here is only half of it. So basically what you're kind of making is two letter I's that you are then going to place in front of the other so they can stand alone as a frame, okay? So you need one half and another half so that they can stand alone, okay? So let's start with the first half. Here are my four footers, my three footers, my one footers, and my eight inch pipes. If you're wondering how I come up with my numbers and my calculations on how to make my letters, here's a little something. This might be a little bit confusing because I'm not like a mathematician or anything like that. I just come up with it and they just happen to work out. <laughs> you are more than welcome to just fast forward this little thing I'm gonna say and just do what I say and that's just that. But if you want to come up with your own letters and your own formula, I think um, this will be good if you're into, you know, figuring things out like this. Here it is. So here's my letter I, okay? Nice. <laughs> All right, so let's say I want to make my I six foot, as I told you guys, okay? This means that this area in the middle should be four feet because this area and this area are each gonna take one foot. Right? So four plus one and one makes it six feet. All right? And because everything is six feet, I'm making this area right here three, half of it. Right? And then, so this side here is also four feet. And this is one feet, because obviously it has to match. 
and this is one feet and then this little area is here also one foot and one foot and this here one foot as well and one foot as well and then I figure out the connectors that I'm going to need and etc and not only that I have to do it twice because this is only one half of the frame I have to make a second one and you have to add up the extra PVCs and connectors that you will need so all you need is a piece of paper draw out your letter and then just figure out the measurements that way I hope this helped a little bit these eight inch pipes are to connect each eye together, okay? This is what's gonna make it or what's gonna help it stand on its own. So I make it eight inches because once you place the connector, the connector is going to add an inch to it. So if you add an inch to here and there, it's going to make it 10 inches. So the space in between each frame is going to be 10 inches because that's as big as I want to blow up my biggest balloon for in here, okay? And that's my reasoning behind everything. All right, let's move on. To put the letter I together, you are going to need eight 90 degree side outlet elbows, and you're also going to need four regular elbows, and they are all half an inch, as I said before. Also make sure that when you pick up your connectors that they are all smooth in all openings, okay? They all have to be smooth because some of them have the um, uh, the, the little rims here to um, uh, screw in together. So make sure you don't get those because it's very frustrating when you get home <laughs> and you have the wrong connectors. There are two ways that you can keep your frame secure. You can use PVC glue, but that is kind of permanent. I don't like anything permanent because I don't have enough room to keep things that are so big around you know even the studio uh, or around the house so i am going to use a rubber mullet mullet alexa what is a mullet the mullet is a hairstyle in which the hair is cut <laughs> short at the front and sides am i saying it wrong back. alexa stop alexa doesn't understand my accent alexa what is hmm. sorry hmm. can you repeat alexa what is a mullet Mullet is the observance of the birthday of the Prophet of Islam, oh Muhammad. Alexa, what is a rubber mullet? A mallet is a kind of hammer, often made of mallet. rubber or something. Or you can use a mallet. <laughs> So the 90 degree side outlet elbows are very important because these are the ones that are going to connect from one frame to the other. Your regular elbows will connect the other pipes. And now I'm going to place my eight inch and I'm going to place it right on here. I already made the other half of camera and I'm just going to go ahead and place them together. so here are the letters D and O. I am not going to show you step by step how to make those because it's pretty much the same thing, just different measurements of the PVC pipes and connectors. So I'm just gonna tell you exactly what it is that you need to cut and what connectors to get. For the letter D, starting from the left, you are going to need two six foot PVC pipes here. Then you are going to need four 18 and a half PVC pipes for here. Okay, this is bottom and top, so that's four. And then you are going to need four nine and a half pipes here and here, four. Then you are going to need four one footers, two here and two there. And then you are going to need two four and a half PVC pipes here. Then you are going to need four four foot PVC pipes for the middle. And then you are going to need eight six inch PVCs, four on the top and four at the bottom. 
and then you are going to need four of these pipes that are going to connect from T to T and these are 11 inches, okay? Two here and two there. And I almost forgot, you're also going to need six of the eight inch PVC pipes that are going to connect each letter to make the frame, okay? So these right here, right there, and then I have, you know, two more here. So it's a total of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. For the letter O, you are going to need four, four and a half feet PVC pipes, two for the left and two for the right. Then you're going to need 16 one footers. You are going to need two, four, six, eight on top and two, four, six, eight at the bottom, okay? And then you are going to need four of the 11 inches for the top and bottom, okay, to help hold this together in the middle. All right, four of these. These are 11 inches and they're going to be held together by, by T's. All right, then you are going to need eight of the six inches, okay? So four on top and four at the bottom, as you can see right here, all right? And then to tie both letters together, or to make it a frame, you are going to need four of the eight inch PVCs. Next, I'm going to give the frame a coat of paint so I can, you know, take away some of the black writing that's on it. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it in white since it's bridal. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll be right back. And there it is. I did miss a couple of spots around there, but I will touch it up later. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to give me a thumbs up and comment let me know what you guys think and make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed until next time bye